operating costs. The Monroe County Hospital is getting a major makeover. In the 13 WMAC poll, we want to know where would you rather be treated? In a small town hospital, in Macon or Warner Robins, or in Atlanta? Answer now by opening the 13 WMAC app and scrolling down to the vote on air tile or go to 13WMAC.com slash vote. Hospital leaders in Monroe County say they borrowed $3.6 million for renovations. Inslee Nichols explains the changes patients will see once renovations are complete. The last time Monroe County Hospital saw major upgrades was back in the 70s. Lorraine Smith, the hospital's chief executive officer, says now the building is completely outdated. Entrances aren't wheelchair accessible and there's one waiting room to serve both outpatient and emergency patients. Rooms are limited with only one bathroom for patients to use. It really doesn't lend to um, something we, we highly value in healthcare, which is privacy. Back in 2017, the hospital almost closed down before partnering with Macon's Navicent Health. Navicent says the Monroe Hospital needs major upgrades to better serve patients and to stay open. So they're borrowing $3.6 million to pay for the work. They said waiting rooms will be separated, more rooms available, a complete rework of the emergency room, and easier access for emergency responders. Smith says the renovations will also add a sense of comfort to patients. When you don't feel well, you want to be taken care of, you want to be treated well, and you want privacy, right? You don't want everyone knowing what you have or, you know, foot traffic. During construction, the hospital says patients can still come in. Construction workers will expand the building first to add space, then work on old rooms. Smith says the safety of their patients will always come first. We have to take things into account like infection control, noise, and things of those nature, so we're going to work very diligently to not disturb patients and make sure that it's a dust-free environment, infection-free environment, just like we always do. In for Scythe, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. Now, the hospital plans to start construction in early February, and it may last up to a year. And in the 13 WMAZ poll, where would you like to be treated? And it appears that the majority of you